What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm on screen five again. So we got two new clips today from the film. Also in one of the clips, David Arquette's character Dewey was going over the rules with the new group of characters. The two that we saw during this clip was Sam and Richie. I'm assuming that Wes was also in this scenes at some point in time. I might be wrong, but the rules that he went over, I'd have seen some people going back and forth over one specific rule, but the rules essentially that he went over about surviving whatever is going to transpire in this upcoming film was rooted in the trends that have happened over the past four movies, which I kind of liked because there's not really, I would say, a set specific group of rules you could talk talk about at this stage because of how much more horror as a genre is just thriving and growing and it's not just dominated by your your michaels and your your jasons and freddies it's it's so much more than that at this point you have many different uh methods of how horror is being explored other than the typical slasher route that we all know were kind of just the basis for most of the rules that we saw in the original film and at least from how i would perceive perceive it based on how horror was at the time when scream came out in the 90s so he's going over these rules and the rules that he went over started with the first one he said don't ever trust your love interest again that's a callback to the original film and then maybe slightly scream two even though Derek wasn't the killer there uh, also slightly scream three i guess because of the little romance that was kind of starting to blossom between sydney and mark and kate even though he wasn't the killer either and then the second rule that he went over was that the killer's motive is always someone tied is always about something tied to the past the third one that got people or some people i saw kind of saying that's not ent entirely true which it's not was that you know the first victim is always a part of a group of friends that the killer's a part of or that the killer's always a part of a group of friends related to the uh original uh, the first victim now that's not always true in the sense of i guess if you're going through the films and casey and steve they were indeed part of that group in the sense that casey dated Stu, so that's where that's where that connection came in because who knows who knows what the dynamic was like when she was dating Stu. she could have been interacting with sydney and randy and maybe tatum i guess too uh while they were dating and then of course when they broke up she just stopped interacting with them and then for screen two i mean we really didn't find out anything about um maureen and phil at that start of that movie as far as like who they were tied to I mean, we know they went to windsor college but I don't, I don't recall us ever finding out they had this group of friends that they were part of but it's, i guess you could say it was assumed and just implied by all of us and then for screen three cotton he had a a cast that he was connected to the cast of stab three i don't know what we would call that a group of a group of friends but you know if you're getting technical about it all and going down the list of course you'll start to pick apart that last rule that dewey listed but it has as i was perceiving it was he was just generalizing again the trend of what has been happening previously in the last movies while it's not entirely true there is some truth to be found in it still uh screen four jenny and marnie i felt like they were kind of just outcasts they did not have anything to do with the main group of teens that we were dealing with in screen four so i would say that's probably the one movie where i would say that just seemed like a, a big no-no <laughs> two three and one or one two and three i think the rule that dewey went over at the end of the clip would just be more fitting for those movies in a way because again it's still not entirely true but the fourth movie absolutely not they did not they did not come across attached to anyone they seemed like they were just kind of just not important when when people found out about them it's kind of like okay do you did you guys um uh, know these two girls other than just of course going to school with them <laughs> uh they just seemed unimportant compared to everyone else they didn't seem like they had any connections to anyone outside of just being students in the hallways and i guess classmates in the hallways i meant to say I guess I'll give Jenny some credit since she indeed was the one that broke up Trevor and Jill, which is what ultimately got her killed at the opening of Screen 4. So I guess that is her relevance to everyone. But outside of that, they seem like they didn't have any ties. That was just a girl that Trevor decided to get on Jill with. And then that's that's their history as far as like everyone else involved in Screen 4. So jumping into this image with Dewey and Gail. So we see that they are, it looks like it's going to have an interaction, of course, at some point in the film. This was broken this morning or released this morning. Uh, 
along with the other two clips that came out and we see that this looks like they're at a crime scene they're probably bickering about the marriage that they had and how that came crumbling down and going over what didn't work what what did work and do we probably bickering at gail about how she's back on her bs <laughs> and thriving and profiting off of the demise and misfortunes of others and how she has this talk show that's so successful and he's probably jealous i'm pretty sure that's just something that's going on them bickering about that in the background of that image you could see like someone getting stretchered out i have seen people speculate on who that is you guys can continue to do that down in the comment section if you would like to um but as far as just like their relationship and how i think that's going to be in this film it seems like it's just going to be very much more on par with the first second and third entry and not this of course i'm by your side till the end that we got with screen four since at that point in time they were married they're very much so going to be on that back and forth off and on type of vibe energy that we got in the original trilogy which i guess would be nice to see again um not for some of us but or not for all of us i meant to say but some of us who enjoyed that energy the way they played off of each other uh just because david and courtney also they just have great chemistry when they were on when they were sharing the screen in their respective roles and i'm sure they're going to knock it out of the park again in this new entry but as far as like those rules again i know people were honing in on the rules and how you know it's not exactly true i hear where you're coming from but there are some truths to it in some degree if you decide to break it down some other way how i looked at it, i just chalked it up to them writing it in a matter of dewey just journalizing his memories over the course of so many years because again the rules he's going over that last third rule about uh the friend group you know those weren't his friends or anything and that so many years ago he's getting up in age i'm just gonna chalk it up to that and he's just giving a generalization of the memories that are slowly leaving his mind or slowly becoming jumbled with with age and time and just as things are passing you know you're living with a more current thing going on you're not gonna break down all the things of the previous killings exactly but i know where you're coming from when you're saying that that last rule that he disclosed doesn't make complete sense and why it might not be true there's some truth in it but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video